Hi everyone, welcome to Farmhouse Life. So, we're still in quarantine for, I don't even know how long now. They just moved school till May 4th. So, we're trying to find things to do around the house. So today, <laughs> today I have the kids doing kind of like an Easter egg hunt, really, um, with Lego. I went out last night while they were sleeping and put little pieces of Lego all over the yard. So they're uh, running around the house right now, <laughs> the yard I should say, trying to find little pieces of Lego. Find some? Uh -huh. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> you can't get it in your bag, eh? Three. Did Bobby find a whole bunch way over there? Yeah. Way over at the play structure. <laughs> you having troubles? Yeah. Ready? There you go. Three. Good job. And my little man is on the tractor driving around. Oh, you're doing good. And I am shocked actually at how good the little guy can drive. Um, my older two like couldn't steer it till they were, I don't even know how old. He's not even two yet and he can already steer, which is great. <laughs> Did you find lots of Lita? <laughs> How many got in there? Let's see. Ooh, good job. We've got. You did, all right. No, not really any further than that. <laughs> good job, Bob. <laughs> I know, Aiden didn't see it, eh? <laughs> So there's 25 like square pieces of Lego and then 14 like taller pieces or something, so. Yeah, good job guys. Both got their training wheels off today and apparently they can just do this no problem. A crash, bump it down. Go Aiden. Good job Aiden. Yeah. Okay, just if you fall on the driveway, then that'll hurt a little more. You okay? I have these on. Mommy. Mommy. What? I have these on. Yeah, you got your knee pads and elbow pads. That's good. Aiden doesn't have any. Careful, Aiden. I can't find my helmet. Hey, guys. So, the oldest and the youngest and I are heading into the muddy field <laughs> in the back, the neighbor's field to go to the little bush to check out. They have tapped some trees uh, for maple syrup. So we're gonna go take a sneak peek uh, to see what, how much they got going on in there. They already have given us a, um, a bottle of maple syrup and it was really delicious. So we're gonna go check it out. <laughs> so here's the lovely muddy field and path that we're trying to get down. <laughs> We also have the dog with us way back there. She's working her way. Kids, not sure what it is with kids and puddles and mud, but it's like magnets. They head right for it. <laughs> Alex. Careful, Bubby.
Yes, baby. What's up, Alix? So they got, I believe they told us 10 trees tapped with buckets. So there's some blue buckets and there was some silver ones, eh? Well, that's what I meant by silver, metal, whatever. All right, so there's a couple blue ones there. Come on. Little guy coming. <laughs> the doggy. All right. Big girl's gonna go check the first buckets. Anything in there? That was overflowing. Oh, is it really? Yeah, look. Uh oh. So that one's full. Woo! Uh -oh. What about this one? Oh, it's full too. Oh my goodness, they need to come get their sap. It's full. It's because it's a bit warmer, so the sap is flowing. All right, let's check this one. Oh, that one's pretty full too, I think, Bob. Ooh, -hoo -hoo. they're full of leaks. All right. We just gotta keep an eye on our gizzy. Does that one look full too? Yeah, it looks pretty full. <laughs> Ooh, all their buckets are pretty full. They're gonna have lots of sap. Or sap, geez, with syrup, my bad. <laughs> oh, this one. Ooh, they're full. Okay, Bubby, you're gonna have to go in there because I don't want to go in there with with the dog and the what and the baby. <laughs> oh, careful! That one doesn't look as full, is it? Careful, Gizzy. Not as full. There's some silver one over there. You gonna go to that one? Over there. Yeah, I know. Okay, you gonna check this one? Careful, Alix. You want to see? Oh, careful, it's full. Ooh! All right. Careful, Alex. Careful. Is it full? Right to the edge. Just put the lid back on, but make sure it's covered. That a girl. We don't want to. <laughs> careful. Don't break it. Okay. If it doesn't go, it doesn't go. Just. All right, Gizzy. You be good. Here, everyone. So I think I'm on day three of picking rocks, little rocks like gravel, off the grass. <laughs> From snow uh, plowing this winter, we have one patch, one small little patch of gravel that has spread all over the yard. This is it. This is the one little patch of gravel that we have in the whole yard that has been dragged all across. So this is like one sled full. I think I've done three so far. And that little like snow pile way back there where the baby is, that was full of rocks. So I still probably have at least another sled or two to go. So the joys. So he's trying to cut the weeds and tall grass again, but it's very rocky there. I think there was like a rock wall here maybe at one point. So it's a little tricky and the weeds of course are over the rocks. So you can't really see where all the rocks are. for this job. <laughs> it's a grass cutter and he's kind of like, he needs a bush hog or whatever to be getting all that, but we're kind of going with what we got. Kind of doing the trick, it's probably not good for it, but it's getting the job done.
there's a lot of big like trees here so it's kind of kind of be nice to be able to like walk under them and be able to go in this like back corner kind of thing.